This is going to be a quick tutorial on distorting objects with the sound effector. So I'm just going to start with a simple sphere, like this. I'm going to add a displacer modifier to the sphere. Displacer. Like this. And in the displacer shading, I'm just going to add a noise map. Something very simple. And I'm going to increase the height. Now, ideally, um, you basically want to use a type of geometry that doesn't kind of pinch the caps like this sphere. So I'm just going to go to my sphere and I'm going to choose hexahedron. And this is better because basically it's made of quads. Basically, all the polygons are squares, which means that um, if we use displacement mapping on this, it's just going to turn out a lot better. So in the displacer, we have many options. Um, instead of the generic noise map, I'm going to use maybe something a bit more interesting like this. And I'm going to set the animation speed to 1. I'm just going to play this back. So we've got this kind of effect. And we can drop this into a subdivision surface like this, to just give it a bit of smoothness. I'm going to increase my height a bit more. So this is quite a cool effect, but um, it would be a lot better if we could link this to a sound file. And we can do that basically using a bit of a simple Expresso. So I'm just going to create a null to hold the Expresso tag. So we call it Expresso go to tags, cinema 4d tags, expresso. And I'm also going to create a sound effector here. And I'm going to choose a sound file. So that's my sound file. Now, um, usually when you play back music, it uh, the build up can take a few seconds. So like this. So I'm just going to um, offset my animation slightly. I'm going to go from 1000 frames to 1500 frames. Hopefully this should be halfway through the song. Oops, that should be 1000 here. Maybe a bit later, 1500. 2000, try this range. Okay, so that's a lot better because it's kind of well into the beat. Just gonna reduce my speakers. Okay, so we've got the sound effector with the sound file, and uh, we basically want to link it to this randomly animating abstract structure. So if we just go to the Expresso tag, right click, new node motion graphics and choose sample and then drag and drop the sound effector in there click on the red section and choose object now I'm going to draw a link between the sound effector the object uh, port and plug it into the effector on sample so what this allows us to do is if I just click on the red section here I can choose strength and I'm just going to right click new node general result and I'm going to link the result to the strength so if I play back this animation just increase the volume you can't see a change on the result that's because we need to go and choose animation refresh so it's constantly updating so check that now I'll play back the animation and you'll notice we've got this value that we can play with basically so we can basically now plug this value taken from the sound effector into any kind of property we want, which gives us a lot of uh, possibilities. So I'm going to use the displacer, drag that in there, click on the import blue section. So we do actually have a strength property for displacer. So we could just link this to this like that. And now it should react to the music. 
can see it kind of vibrating with the music. Sometimes you might want to spice it up. Sometimes you might not want a kind of direct link. So you can go to calculate and add a formula. So just click on the blue section and choose a value. So you might want to so you might want to plug the strength into the formula and then carry out some kind of maths calculation, and then output that calculation. Um, instead of just kind of directly linking between the two. So the formula effector uh, is very simple to use. Just check use port names, and then we can type in a value one, which is taken value one, which is taking the strength. And then you can multiply this, say times eight, start off like that. And you'll notice the geometry in the background has changed. It's probably too uh, extreme that value. And I'm just going to plug my result into the output so I can keep track of it. So that's okay. Uh, we could also use kind of sign. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but we could use a very kind of complicated formula here. So sign's done something quite interesting to the geometry. Try tan. I think we need to play it back. Nope. Uh, cos. We could use powers. Um, we could use pi. Just mess around. I'm not sure what any of this does, but we might come up with something pretty cool. So that's how it's done. You can actually use this. Uh, you can sample actually any kind of effector. It doesn't have to be the sound effector. So just experiment and see what you can come up with. So that's the end of this tutorial and uh, thanks for watching.